You know you're in Bible B when. Someone asks you between the months of June and November what you're doing, and you always answer with Bible B. If you were at the rough arena but didn't care at all about the basketball game, and if you have to explain that using the abbreviation BB doesn't make you a basketball fan, then you're definitely in Bible B. If you know the timeline of the Minor Prophets and the Kings of Israel and Judah better than your own family history, then you're probably in Bible B. If your most used websites are Quizlet, Blue Letter Bible, Bible Gateway, Open Bible Labs, oh, and of course, the participant community. And instead of playing video games in your free time, you play Quizlet Live, Look It, and Gimp It. You know you are in Bible B. If purple is a primary color in your mind, you're probably in Bible B. If a stack of projects is waiting for you until after November, between the months of June and November, your desk is always piled with commentaries, verse cards, highlighters, Bibles, flashcards, and notebooks. Then you know you're in Bible B. If a perfectly normal conversation starter for you is, what Bible version do you use? And if you try not to sound too creepy when meeting a fellow qualifier, even though you already know their division, name, city, locals placement, and Bible version, then you know you're in Bible B. Instead of buying streaming services, you spend money on things like Quizlet Plus, Zoom Pro, and Kahoot Premium so that you can make better quizzes and post longer study meetings. Then you know you're in Bible League. If some of your closest friends live halfway across the country. And if you've made some of your best friends through a competition, then you're in the National Bible League. Your parents tell you that you're going on a trip, and right away you go to see if any Bible figures live close to Or if you spent a night at a Marriott hotel and were disappointed because it looked nothing like the ones in Texas or Kentucky, then you know you're in Bible Week. Your year is divided into frantically studying for Bible Week half the year, and then madly studying to catch up on schoolwork the rest of the year. If this has ever happened to you, to you when someone asks, can anyone quote this verse? Because if you're in Bible B, you have the whole Bible memorized. Right? If you care more about the location of next year's nationals than the new Star Wars movie, and if right now you're thinking, wait, there's a new Star Wars movie? Then you are definitely in Bible B. If you perk up in church whenever anything from Ruth or Isaiah is mentioned. If you know the reign of King Jeroboam II, better than King George III. Or you know the geography of Asia Minor better than your own state. Then you know that you're in the best of the If you can keep hundreds of verses straight, but not the pantries. You know you're in Bible Bee if you stalk all your friends' blogs between November and December looking for pictures from nationals. If your friends ever catch you absently grinning into space because you're replaying memories from nationals again, you know you're in Bible Bee. You know you're in Bible Bee if you know what a CR is. Um, actually it's CF. No, it's cross-reference. No, it's cross-reference. Because we all say Bible buddy. Oh, come on. If you know what the letters P, B, B, W, S stand for, then you're probably in Bible. If you never knew you could get so much out of the book of Isaiah, then you're in the National Bible. 
So maybe you're lacking in motivation to keep memorizing God's word. Or maybe you feel like memorization is an unattainable goal. If so, we have some encouragement for you. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoice in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. That the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent. Press on. Seek to know God by learning his word. Not one of his words will return void.